What up, players? It's Warbots Tail Up in This Mud. Welcome to day number 10. It is Thursday, the 10th of July. We're looking at day 10 of the Warbots Tail July Painting Challenge 2014. And here's what I was able to get done. As you will see, we slogged through all of the silver and the Mornfang Brown for the leather. That means, oh my gosh, the, the head straps under the helmets, the, um, the backpacks, the straps for the, for the backpack, the rebreather pack, the belt, the straps on the entrenching tool, and the boots. And holy moly, it is a slog. Well, first of all, it was a slog to get through all of them doing the silver. It's a little bit different than my How to Paint a Death Corp Creek tutorial, but I think this way is just as well. After doing the, the coats, I did silver first, all the, all the silver in lead belcher. And then I did the Mornfang Brown. I'm going back to do all the Mornfang Brown. And oh yeah, also the wood stock for the, the Laz rifles. You can see there the, the, the grip and the stock at the back. So, uh, like, like I knew it would happen, I, um, the work really slowed down. And I'm gonna show you a little bit of my progress with it, but it's not gonna be too much. You're not gonna see me get through all of them. Thank God, even sped up, it's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna take a while. And uh, I still have these guys to do, but we're about to leave the house, so I could only get through, I could only get through everything else. But my goal is, I guess I, I forgot to make this Oath of Moment last week, Sunday, as, um, as we got into the new week. My Oath of Moment is that I, I pledge to finish the base coats for these guys by Sunday. So I got Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Should be able to do it. Um, after the Mornfang Brown, for the rest of these guys here on the, on the right side of the screen you see, I'm gonna go back and do the golds. And oh, also I have to do the dark steel for the helmets and the shoulder pads. See, most of them don't have it. Uh, they're still in that, that light gray primer. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna have this guy here, paint up the helmet and the shoulder pads. And that's all we do for the steel. Oh, and the hands. And I gotta go back and also do the trousers and the leg bindings. So, base coats by Sunday, then we can get into uh, washes next week and hopefully finish all of that at the beginning of the week then I can get into the fun stuff like the quartermaster the uh, grenadiers here in the back and then the long um, trek to finish line with uh, the rest of these models like the command guys in the back are gonna need a, a, a good week I think as well as the heavy weapons teams so you guys are doing great thanks for watching if you're taking the challenge now you can skip the rest of this video uh, actually let me finish the um, daily question for today if you could own any weapon or piece of gear what would you want <laughs> I'd like a chain sword there's nothing cooler than a chainsaw slash sword or like a, a, a power a power weapon just so you could turn it on and off and maybe uh, cut grass with it I don't know um, that would be really cool or I also thought if if I could get from the Warhammer Fantasy universe a mechanical steed that the engineers in the Empire sometimes bring to battle those look absolutely ridiculous or do I want a servo skull now nah, I'd be creeped out if I had a servo skull floating around my house my lady boss would kill me I don't know or she might put like makeup on it she might like give it lipstick and stuff Ugh, it's gross so macabre all right you guys i hope you guys are all doing well um do not stress yourself out over the challenge if you're even only able to do like 10 5 10 minutes and you're not able to do that much do not get discouraged i i just say like keep keep pumping out the videos every single day and um yeah thanks for watching everybody uh thanks for supporting each other and if you see anybody who's doing the july painting challenge that has not joined the google group the google group the google plus group please put them in it and um, let them know because I, I usually have time to go through all of my subscriptions usually except for July. July is like the craziest time because of the challenge so I'm not able to look through my regular subscriptions so if you know anyone who's doing the challenge uh, please send them, drop them a line tell them I said join the Google Plus group and get their work posted up there. All right you guys awesome projects keep up the great work latest. Okay take two. I tried recording this already, and the lady boss says I need to sound more enthusiastic. So here we go!
<laughs> so I'm starting with my guys here with lead belcher or silver. Um, silver is is a is a really good like first coat. I think if you once you get the base coat of whatever your painting is. So I, I the base coat for my guys were this light blue gray color, and then getting the silver pieces now like the rifle, the canister on the back with the oxygen. And the little screen for the rebreather on the front is a good second color. It's a little bit out of order from, yeah, like I said, it's a little out of order from the way that I uh, filmed a tutorial on these guys. But I think that's because I'm batch painting these guys. So I'm looking for the fastest way to do it, but still maintain a really high quality. Like if you're going to look at them up close, you're going to still see that I painted all the straps. You could turn it at any angle. Normally when you're playing a game, you only see the models looking down, right? Look down at the table. And so painters will sometimes kind of sneak and cut corners and not paint like under the rifle. They won't paint the rebreather packs or they won't paint the straps on the shoulders because it's hidden by armor plates. And I could do that, but because this is going to end up being part of a commission job, I want to make sure that my client is happy when he's taking the models out, when he's showing them off. If people come by the table and are like, oh my gosh, look at all these Death Corps of Krieg, I want them to be able to look at them and pick them up. if if the client says okay and be able to turn them around and see that yeah everything is painted they've got the, they're going to have the correct unit designation numbers and everything and it's going to be really legit and worth the money that i am charging him because it's it's a pretty it's a it's a pretty uh big price but that's because they're forge world models uh just about all of these are forge world models yeah they are and uh, they're the correct ones they don't have the cadian arms and um plastic las guns and they've all got their packs and their backpacks. They're all ready and prepared and equipped to fight. So yeah, we want to get the best price possible. Uh, you might have heard me in my last episode, day nine, that my, the lady boss and I are thinking about starting a, a new kind of sub podcast or, or a different kind of podcast. So right now we've got general nonsense on in the iTunes store, but I was thinking something that might be fun to do along with the general podcast which we're hoping to try to get at least two out a month and uh, maybe more if you know time allows more maybe once a week would be pretty fun uh, but besides the general nonsense podcast we're thinking of doing or I was thinking I suggested it to the lady boss and uh, she seems to be okay with it is a narrative role-playing game session if you look up in the podcasts there are some guys out there that kind of set a microphone out in the middle of the table and then gets a group together and they just role play and you get to hear everything the dice rolls and people talking back and forth and sometimes you get to hear them like shouting over each other or arguing and laughing and it's it's, it's a lot of fun and it kind of puts you in in the zone for if you're a role player because you get to be in that kind of nerdy universe but I was thinking besides that what might be fun to do is take that role playing game experience and film that, so maybe get the lady boss and some other people together, and I would game master a game, and uh, record that, and maybe make that one podcast, one part of the podcast, and then uh, go home afterwards and tabulate all of the results, um, and just write a script, like an audio drama, kind of like Games Workshop now, it's really into selling for Horace Heresy audio dramas and audio books, and then recording that and acting it out with voice acting and um, and sound effects and music and stuff all from the from the um, iMovie and GarageBand uh, it's a GarageBand actually from the GarageBand files but I you know that might be pretty fun and it would be something different and you'd actually get to hear both sides you'd hear how it happened and then uh, we would get to creatively write the background story and all of that narrative stuff so I don't know it's, it's just an idea we're floating around there's um, all this copyright stuff I want to make sure we're not going to get in trouble with if uh, we end up charging for it because I think you know the amount of time and effort to put into writing and editing and uh, acting and putting all of that together would it's it's much it's gonna be much more than a hobby so we're trying to look and see if we can make any kind of uh, money and compensation back from that but yeah let me know if that's something you might be interested in or uh, if there you think that it, it's a good idea and if not then yeah just say so Anyways, we're getting to the end now. You see that now I'm doing the Mornfang Brown. There is no way I could have filmed all of this. So I uh, I think I cut after this last clip. Yeah, this is the last clip. You might also notice that the light is changing depending on what time of day it is. 
and uh, yeah, the lady boss was nice enough to let me be a little hermit and stay inside today and paint up my guys. So uh, there we go. That's day 10. Hope you guys are all doing well. Keep, keep on keeping on, my friends, and happy wargaming and happy painting. Glory to the painters!